and welcome to Tech Tips with Sold Out Media. I'm Amanda. I'm Jacob. And today we have a brand new Vanguard backpack for you. This is the VO Active 46. Beautiful bag. Man, goodness, this bag is so stylish and so cool. Um, we saw the, the advertisement for it, ordered it, but then when we got it, we were so blown away by how many features are actually on this backpack. So check that out. But um. Yeah. This is really, I mean, it's a gorgeous bag. The materials on it are so nice. The, the details on it are so nice. Mm. But this thing is packed full of surprises. Yes, and hidden features everywhere, wherever you look. Yeah, should we start with the back? I think so, there's a lot there to go, going on there. Yeah, we we'll just unbuckle these straps here. There is so much going on. So you get this very big waist strap. Yes, very nice. Yeah. Nice and, hips. and this actually detaches. It's Velcro in the inside, so if you don't want to be lugging this around, you can detach it entirely. Yep. Show them about the side pouch there, Jake. The side pouch here is, if I do this, it's a normal side pouch. Look at that. Fits a wallet or something. But wait, there's more. You can open the Velcro and have a much bigger pocket. I mean, that's incredible. So if you get an iPhone Max or something like that, you can have that right in there. Exactly. For me, iPhone Max doesn't fit in my pocket, so I only have the, the regular Pro. Yeah, it's basically an iPad too. Yeah. We get a nice little cushion material all the way through the belt straps to the main uh, shoulder straps. Yeah, made and for the long haul. The lumbar support, full of nice breathable material. Yes. We got some, show them back there, there's some secret pockets. Yeah, there's a secret pocket under here for your uh, wallet or your passport or other important thing. It goes down all the way down here, so it's quite far. Has, still has your uh, bag, luggage carrier, luggage carrier yeah. strap as well. Uh, let's see here, we have on the arms, we have another hidden thing. You might ask, is this for a pen? <laughs> no, it's not. No, actually, both of these expand out and can be water bottle, uh, what do you say, straps, or not Holder. straps. Holders, sure. So imagine, you can have a juice pack in one, and, and a different in flavor in the other one, <laughs> living the dream. For us, it would be a bottle in one, and, <laughs> and juice a water for the kids everything. for the other, yeah. yeah that's true. Oh. But I mean, the, the thought that they put into this backpack, I, it blows my mind. On this side here, you have, again, a, a place for a tripod that can go in and you can expand that out. Mm -hmm. But there's also a hidden pocket here that has their signature, uh, what do you call it? The power bank connection. Ah, yes, the power bank so connection. You, you have the USB right there. So you can have your phone in charging while you're out hiking or uh, even your camera if you want to. The power bank connects on the inside of the upper pocket. Yeah, and it connects out on here. And it connects out out here. We'll show you the water inside. bottle holder. <laughs> exactly. And again, to extra straps to lock in the tripod hidden in there too. Yep. On the other side, dun, 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 dun. you have room for a hydration bladder in here. You, you have, look, you have straps for another tripod on this thing. But underneath that, you have a place for the hydration bladder to come through. It's true. You see? A little hole there that feeds it through. Yeah. So, I mean, that's amazing. And that's isolated material. In the top here, this thing comes with so much nice stuff. You have an expandable area that you could put your jacket in or what have you. And it comes also with a tech, a tech pouch. pouch, which we love. We love the extras. Yes. Nice tech pouch in there. And this is not the water bottle pouch, but it's a lens pouch. It's a lens pouch. So you can put your, I mean, you can put a massive lens in there, like a 400 mil almost. Mm, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And it straps into the front there. Yeah. And behind that. Or the belt, actually. That's right. Behind, and you can wear the belt separately with the attachments yeah, on it. Yeah, it'd be like the, a giant the, backpack. What do you call the waist support? Yep. There's the a hidden, hidden po another hidden mesh pocket in here. Let's see if we can open it up. In there, you have these straps. Mm -hmm. And these are designed to go across the front of the bag here. Yeah, so, the they, here. exactly, they just latch into these little, little loupes here. There, yeah, so you just, you can strap anything across this mm -hmm. and it has the, the buckles that you can unbuckle it quickly after you have it latched on. Yeah. Also, like I said, in the top pouch here, this is where you have your connection for your power bank. 
that comes out the side. That's weird it is. I was looking for it before. Yeah. Also has the classic uh, key holder up here, the little lock thing. Exactly. Again, like I am so impressed with the material with this backpack. And I love the metal bucket uh, buckle on the top. The metal buckle on the top is awesome. Very nice. It's it's again, it's so many nice details when it comes to these bags. Let's look at the back compartment. Now this is a rear access backpack. But there is this there is a kind of different way to get at the stuff. I'll show you that in a second, but for the most part, you have this rear access. Uh, I have tried my 15-inch MacBook Pro in this. It says it, it says it holds just a 14. My 15.6 i9, not M1 MacBook, fits good in this. I don't think the M1 would because the i9 yeah, was really thicker. thicker. You'll see when we do the tech shorts. Um, but yeah, this is your camera compartment. This can fold behind. Let's take, take it out all the way, actually. Right. You can remove this whole cube. There you go. You can remove this whole cube from the bag, and the bag becomes a regular day carry bag. But you see, this folds all the way around here. And then you can put it back in so that when you open the bag, you have direct access to your camera gear. And this is like a hefty pouch. Like, you could easily fit two DSLRs in here and a drone and a buttload of other stuff. Yes, you'll see exactly how much in there. How much shorts. of a buttload of other stuff. Rain cover with it. Now, here's the only complaint I have about this bag. And those of you who know us might already be guessing. This bag is only rear access. And personally, I love yes. to have a side access bag. And I don't know why even the camera cube, they don't have anywheres on it for it to be a side axis. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take it out, store your camera gear in it, so you don't have to store the whole bag in the cabinet. Yeah, and go hiking. And go hiking. But, <laughs> there's some things that like are super confusing for it being just a, just a rear access bag. Like inside here, you have like a hidden pocket in here for something to sit. I actually think you can put your power bank there if you feed the cable back through. Maybe, maybe so. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Jake. Yeah, you yeah. can pull the cable back and put your power bank there instead. But check this out. If we just jam this thing back in there, hold on. Put it back in open way. This is where tech tips get so graceful <laughs> as we manhandle the backpacks. There Standing up always, that's my problem. There. There we go. Super smooth. All right. This is what doesn't make sense to me. There is another zipper here. Where is it? On the side. You can open this up. All the way around. And suddenly, there's the, there's the camera cube. Now I get it when it's a day pack, then you have a front access or a side access to your day pack stuff. But why not have the, some way of accessing the camera, either from up here, from the, the top panel, or from, from here. Some kind of other quick access to the yeah, gear. That's true. Right? So what we did, and you'll see it in a future episode, is we took the dimensions of this box and we ordered another box. Uh, and we're going, to, we're going to... Make a side access. We're going to make a side access to this bag because, again, like, it has this access point here. So. All right, but let's go to the specs. The Vanguard VO Active 46 backpack is a 25 liter backpack. It has room for a 14 inch laptop. It has rear access for full security. It can carry up to two tripods. It has uh, the ability to be a day pack. It's suitable for DSLR camera and three to five lenses up to a 300 mil. The external dimensions are 29 centimeters by 23 centimeters by 47 and a half centimeters. The internal dimensions are 27 centimeters by 16 centimeters by 46 centimeters. The weight of the bag is 2.54 kilos. It comes with a rain cover. It has a two year warranty extendable up to 10 years. The bag comes in two colors, gray and a outdoorsy green. All right, so there in a nutshell, we have the, the VO Active, 
Yes. There's nothing left for us to do but to take this guy out and test him out. And enjoy it. Again, I have to say, just as a first reaction to it, I think the material, the, the material, the materials are excellent. The details are insane. Like these guys thought about so much when they made this backpack. It's true. And they said in the description to of their on their website that the rear access is for security reasons. Like, yeah. uh, but this is very definitely a traveler's backpack. This is a, a more like outdoor hiking one. Outdoor hiking. But it's so stylish. I could wear it down, going downtown or something. It's it's such a nice bag. It really is. Right? Um, so let's take it out in the field and see what she can do. We'll see you out there. Hey guys, I've had the View Active 46 out. It's a wonderful bag. I'm just gonna show you how I have it set up at the moment. So, here we have it. It's uh, usually you can have the cross straps and have your chair on there or a sleeping bag or anything like that. I just did for a quick run right now, so I didn't have it, but you can. All right, I'm just gonna pop this open. I love this little open pouch on the top, so you can put your bulky stuff in there. It's really nice. All right, so there's a extra T-shirt. In case you get splashed. I also have a first aid kit. I have uh, the power bank connected in here. Right there. And, uh, you know, some flashlights and uh, socks and such. Anyways, I'll tuck them back in there so I don't lose them in the lake here. On the side, I have the hydration bag, which is tucked in here inside. I think this is a two liter bag, fits nicely. Right there, it's, uh, I just hooked it in with a snap hook with a little whistle, so I can be safe. In the little expandable pouch, maybe I should spin you around a bit to see better. Ooh. There you go. In this little expandable pouch, I have uh, some multi-tools and such. And there, easy access. On the little front expandable pouch down here, I have my mic case. Also easy access. It's a recommendation of mine. If you're going to do this and you have small things you need to get out fast, then use the little extra pouches. It's way harder to get in the bag to get your memory cards and all the other things. I actually had memory cards up here in the secret passport compartment. I had them up here. There we go. This actually fit my phone on this side, as you can see. Maybe you can't see, but it's in there. Uh, and if you connected your cable and pop it in like so, now it's charging. It comes whoa, from the power bank up here, and it goes through the little connector in here, uh, which is next to my tripod, which is on this side. You can also have a water bottle with you if you don't have the hydration bag, so you know. There. Yeah, so uh, that's what's on the outside at the moment. So we're gonna open it up and see what's on the inside. See right here, ooh, gentle, gentle. So here is a 7200 mil. Uh, here is a rain cover with another zoom lens with a macro in there. Down here I have a 50 mil, down here in the bottom. And here I have a mini light, in case it gets dark outside, for shooting. And down here in the black thing we have our uh, survival kit, because we're out hiking. I have an audio record right here. And I have my uh, strap for my shoulder strap. Now this is going to be tricky. Oh my goodness. But in this bag, I have a GoPro and some batteries in the extra tech pouch at this point. Quite nifty. Tuck it back in there, like so. Ooh. We mentioned it in the studio about these thick straps. But this thick belt really lifts the weight super nicely. It's not heavy at all. I mean, it's not heavy in, in general, but you don't feel it at all with, with everything connected. So, good job Vanguard, I must say. It 
it's a very stylish bag, it's very handy, and uh, if it had the side access, it would probably have been one of the better bags this year, uh, or ever. Anyways, uh, super good bag, I love to test it out, uh, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and like us on Facebook and Instagram and everywhere you can find us. And until next time, see you later.